Welcome, dear viewers, to our enlightening journey through four fundamental pillars of life, time, energy, health, and wealth. Each of these elements plays a crucial role in shaping our lives and setting the course for our journey. And to those tuning into the Core of Self-Improvement channel for the first time, a hearty welcome to you. We're glad to have you here. These pillars are interconnected, each influencing and being influenced by the others. Understanding and harnessing the power of these pillars significantly transform your life for the better. So, buckle up and stick with us till the end of this video, as we delve deeper into each of these pillars. Let's embark on this rewarding journey of self-discovery, growth, and transformation together. Our first stop, the elusive concept of time. Stay tuned. Have you ever stopped to consider the true value of time? It's a resource that is often overlooked, yet it's the most natural one we possess. Unlike other resources, time is non-renewable. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Think of it as sand in an hourglass, steadily and inexorably slipping away. Now consider this, when you have time, you can achieve anything. Everything in life requires time, no matter how minuscule or grand it may be. When you have time, you can make enough mistakes until you get it right. Isn't that the beauty of learning and growing? But here's the catch. We often take time for granted, not realizing its true worth. We squander it on trivial pursuits, not realizing that each passing moment is a lost opportunity. Picture this, each tick of the clock is a slice of your life that you will never get back. So what's the solution? It's simple yet profound. Use time wisely and intentionally. Don't just let it pass you by in a haze of mindless activities. Use it for something worthwhile, something that adds value to your life and the lives of those around you. Remember, time is precious. It's a gift that is given to us in finite measure. We never truly realize its value until it's running out. It's like a silent whisper in the wind, reminding us of our mortality, urging us to make the most of the now. So let's not wait for the time when there's no more left. Let's not wait for the sands in our hourglass to run out. Let's cherish each moment, each second, each minute, and each hour. Let's use time to learn, to grow, to love, to live. Let's use time to dream, to aspire, to achieve. Let's use time to make a difference, to leave a legacy, to make our mark in the sands of time. Indeed, the true worth of time becomes apparent only when there is no more left. Let's not wait for such a time. Use it wisely. Use it intentionally. Energy. The fuel that drives the engine of life. This potent force, this dynamic spark, courses through our veins, electrifying our senses and igniting our passions. It's the invisible fire that burns within us, the power that propels us forward, the rush that makes us feel truly alive. When we're brimming with energy, we're a force to be reckoned with. We feel invincible, unstoppable. We're motivated, bursting with courage and determination. We're ready to take on the world, to conquer every obstacle, to turn every stumbling block into a stepping stone. Every challenge becomes not a barrier, but a puzzle to be solved. Every setback, not a defeat, but an opportunity for growth. Each hurdle we face becomes a thrilling challenge, a chance to prove our mettle and hone our skills. But energy is not merely a physical phenomenon. It's not just about how many miles we can run or how many weights we can lift. It's about our emotional and mental stamina as well. It's about our ability to persevere, to stay the course, to keep going, even when the going gets tough. So how do we cultivate this vital resource? How do we fuel our engine of life? It's simple. By understanding how energy works and learning how to harness it. It's about knowing when to rest and when to push, when to pause and when to forge ahead. It's about maintaining a balance, about living in harmony with our own rhythms and cycles. Energy is like a river. It needs to flow freely, unimpeded by stress or tension. It needs to be replenished regularly, through rest and relaxation, through nourishment and hydration, through movement and exercise. And just like a river, if we take care of it, it will take care of us. Energy is more than just physical vitality. It's the driving force that makes every challenge surmountable. It's the spark that ignites our passion, the fire that fuels our dreams, the power that propels us forward. It's the lifeblood of ambition, the heartbeat of determination, the essence of resilience. So let's cultivate it, let's harness it, let's make it our own. Because with energy, we're not just surviving, we're thriving. Energy is more than just physical vitality, it's the driving force that makes every challenge surmountable. Health. The golden thread that weaves the tapestry of a good life. Indeed, health is the cornerstone of existence, the bedrock upon which we build our lives, and the fuel that powers our journey. It is a broad spectrum that encompasses our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. 
all of which are interconnected in a delicate, intricate balance. Physical health is the foundation. It relates to the condition of our bodies, the vessel that carries us through life. When our bodies are strong, we feel invincible, capable of conquering mountains. It's the radiant glow of vitality, the strength to run, jump, dance, and live life to its fullest. But it's more than just physical prowess. It's also about nourishing our bodies with wholesome food, getting enough rest, and keeping illnesses at bay. Mental health, on the other hand, relates to our cognitive abilities and emotional stability. It's about clarity of thought, the ability to concentrate, solve problems, make decisions, and the resilience to bounce back from life's challenges. It's about maintaining a positive outlook, nurturing our minds, and fostering a healthy relationship with ourselves and others. Emotional health is about understanding and managing our feelings. It's about fostering empathy, resilience, and emotional intelligence. It's the ability to express our emotions effectively, to cope with life's ups and downs, and to maintain a positive attitude. It's about emotional maturity, empathy, and the ability to connect deeply with others. Health is the foundation upon which we build our energy and time. It influences our mood, our motivation, our productivity. It's the engine that drives us, the light that guides us. Without health, energy becomes a scarce commodity and time a heavy burden. So let's take a moment to appreciate our health, to nurture it, to protect it, to invest in it. Let's make the conscious decision to lead healthier lives, to eat well, to exercise regularly, to get enough sleep, to manage stress, and to cultivate positive relationships. Because, in the end, a healthy body, a healthy mind, and a healthy spirit make life not just livable, but delicious. Wealth, the tangible comfort that eases the journey of life. It's like the cushioned seat on a long train ride, a soft bed after an exhausting day, or the aroma of a freshly brewed cup of coffee on a cold morning. It doesn't drive the train, nor does it make the day any less exhausting or the morning any less cold. But it does make these experiences more comfortable. Now let's not mistake wealth for the ultimate goal. It's not the destination, but it certainly is a useful resource on the journey. It's a tool that allows us to meet our basic needs, food to nourish our bodies, water to quench our thirst, and a roof over our heads to keep us safe and warm. These are the foundations upon which we build the rest of our lives. Wealth also provides us with the ability to explore our interests, to pursue our passions, and to invest in our growth. It enables us to seek out new experiences, to expose ourselves to different cultures, ideas, and perspectives. It offers us the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to evolve. Yet it's essential to remember that wealth is not an end in itself. It's a means to an end. It's not about accumulating riches for the sake of being rich, but about using those riches to enrich our lives and the lives of others. It's about creating a life of comfort, not just for ourselves, but for those we care about. So, while wealth may not be the most important resource, it's not time, it's not energy, and it's certainly not health. It does have its place. It contributes to a comfortable life, a life where we're not constantly stressed about meeting our basic needs, where we have the freedom to pursue what truly matters to us. Wealth may not buy happiness, but it certainly makes the journey towards it a lot more comfortable. Balance, the key to a fulfilling life. It's the art of juggling the four pillars we've discussed, time, energy, health, and wealth. Each pillar is essential, but none can stand alone. They are interconnected, mutually dependent, forming the foundation of our lives. Picture them as elements in a well-tuned orchestra, each playing its part to create a harmonious symphony. If one is out of tune, the entire performance suffers. So how do we achieve this balance? It begins with understanding that each pillar is a resource, and like all resources, they are finite. We only have 24 hours in a day, a certain amount of energy, one body to maintain, and wealth that needs to be wisely managed. The art of balance lies in the wise allocation of these resources. It's about prioritizing, about making conscious choices, it's about ensuring we're not spending all our time accumulating wealth at the expense of our health or pouring all our energy into one aspect of life while neglecting others. It's about understanding that time is the one resource we can never get back. It's about using our energy wisely, taking care of our health, and making smart decisions with our wealth. Balance is not about perfection. It's about making adjustments, about flexibility. It's about knowing when to push and when to pause. It's about recognizing when one pillar is getting too much attention and when another is being neglected. It's a continuous process, a journey rather than a destination. And remember, everyone's balance is unique. 
What works for one might not work for another. So, tune into your needs, listen to your body, and make choices that align with your values. And before we move on, here's a quick reminder. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. Now let's move on to some inspiring quotes and poems on time. Time, as they say, waits for no one. It's a relentless force, forever pushing us forward. Let's delve into a few quotes and poems that encapsulate the essence of time. The first quote, attributed to Benjamin Franklin, goes, You may delay, but time will not. This simple yet profound statement reminds us of the relentless march of time. It cannot be paused or rewound. Each moment that passes is a moment we'll never get back. It's a call to action, a nudge to make the most of the time we have. The next quote from ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus says, Time is a game played beautifully by children. This quote suggests that time is best appreciated when we are fully engaged in the present moment, much like children immersed in their play. It's a reminder to sometimes let go of our worries and plans and just live in the now. Moving on to poetry, let's explore a short verse by Emily Dickinson that goes, Forever is composed of nows. It's a beautiful sentiment that emphasizes the importance of the present. Each now is a building block of our forever. By cherishing each moment, we create a lifetime of cherished memories. The second poem is a Japanese haiku by Mizuta Masahid, Barns burnt down, now I can see the moon. This poem suggests that time often brings change that, although initially painful, can lead to new perspectives and opportunities. It's a poignant reminder that time can heal and reveal beauty even in the most difficult circumstances. Each of these quotes and poems offers a unique perspective on time. They remind us that time is precious, relentless, and transformative. They urge us to live in the present, appreciate the now, and understand that even in loss, time can bring about new beginnings. Time, like a river, keeps flowing. It's up to us to navigate its currents wisely. So let's seize the day, live in the moment, and make each second count. For in the grand tapestry of life, every single stitch of time matters. Energy, the spark that ignites the flame of life. This is the essence of our conversation today. Let's delve into the world of words where poets and thinkers have beautifully encapsulated the power of energy. The first quote is by Maya Angelou, an American poet and civil rights activist. She once said, nothing can dim the light that shines from within. This quote resonates deeply with the concept of energy. It highlights that the energy within us is our own light, a light that can't be dimmed by external factors. It's a reminder that the energy we possess within us is powerful and resilient. Our second quote is from the renowned scientist, Albert Einstein, who said, energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be changed from one form to another. This quote directly refers to the law of conservation of energy in physics, but metaphorically, it speaks about the transformative power of energy in our lives. It reminds us that energy is ever-present, ever-flowing. It changes forms, it transforms, but it never ceases to exist. Moving on to poetry, let's explore two poems that beautifully encapsulate the essence of energy. The first poem is titled, The Energy of Life, by an unknown poet. It goes, the energy of life is a gift, an invisible force that can lift. It can move mountains, it can heal. It's a power we all can feel. This poem beautifully expresses the transformative and healing power of energy, highlighting that it's an inherent force within us all. The second poem is called Spark of Energy by John Keats. It reads, just as a spark ignites the flame, energy within us does the same. It fuels our dreams, it lights our way, it gives us strength each passing day. This poem illustrates how energy fuels our dreams and lights our path, reinforcing the idea of energy as an empowering force. Energy like a flame can light up the darkest night, it's up to us to keep it burning bright. As we wrap up this scene, let's remember that the energy within us is our driving force, our light. Let's nurture it, let's cherish it, and let's harness it to illuminate our journey of life. Health, the greatest wealth one can possess. This adage holds a profound truth which we often overlook in our pursuit of material wealth. Health indeed is a treasure beyond measure. Let's delve into a couple of quotes that emphasize the significance of health. The first is a gem from the renowned philosopher Virgil, who said, The greatest wealth is health. It speaks volumes, doesn't it? No amount of riches can equate to the well-being of our body and mind. Our second quote is from the influential writer Ralph Waldo Emerson, who penned, The first wealth is health. This quote underscores health as the primary wealth, the foundation upon which other forms of wealth can be built. Without health, every other form of wealth loses its luster. 
Now let's explore the world of poetry, where words dance and emotions sing. Our first poem is a verse by Christian D. Larson. To be well in body and strong in mind is the best sort of wealth that man can find. This poem beautifully encapsulates the essence of health as a holistic concept, encompassing both physical and mental well-being. Our second poem is an extract from a piece by Robert W. Service. Be master of your petty annoyances and conserve your energies for the big, worthwhile things. It isn't the mountain ahead that wears you out, it's the grain of sand in your shoe. A metaphorical masterpiece, this poem emphasizes the importance of good health in tackling life's challenges. It's the grain of sand in our shoe, the minor health issues that often wear us out, not the mountain ahead, the bigger challenges in life. These quotes and poems serve as reminders of the importance of health in our lives. They inspire us to prioritize our well-being, to treasure our health as the greatest wealth, and to keep it polished, like a jewel. Because, as we all know, health, like a jewel, shines brightest when it's at its best. It's up to us to keep it polished. Wealth, the comfort that cushions life's bumps. It's not just about money or material possessions, but a sense of abundance and security that allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and confidence. Let's dive into two insightful quotes about wealth. The first one is from Benjamin Franklin who said, wealth is not his that has it, but his that enjoys it. This quote reminds us that wealth is not about mere accumulation, but rather, it's about how we use and appreciate what we have. Wealth is worthless if we can't find joy and fulfillment in it. The second quote is from Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, who stated, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Seneca urges us to understand that true wealth is not about having more than we need, but being content with what we have. It's a call to detach from the materialistic race and find richness in simplicity and gratitude. Now let's explore two poems that beautifully encapsulate the essence of wealth. The first one is an anonymous piece. Rich is not he who has much but he who needs little. Wealth is all in the mind and contentment you will find. This poem echoes Seneca's sentiment and emphasizes that true wealth lies in the freedom from the need for more. The second poem is by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. While not directly about wealth, this poem is a metaphor for the choices we make in life. Choosing the road, less traveled by, can lead to a wealth of experiences, knowledge and personal growth, which are invaluable forms of wealth. Wealth, like a cushion, can soften the hardest fall. It's up to us to keep it well stuffed. But remember, the comfort of wealth is not just about the padding of our bank accounts, it's about the richness of our lives. Our experiences, our knowledge, our contentment, and our capacity to appreciate and enjoy what we have. Life is full of metaphors and so are our four pillars. Let's explore these metaphors and how they add depth to our understanding of time, energy, health, and wealth. Time is often likened to a river, ever flowing and relentless. We cannot hold the water in our hands just as we can't hold on to a moment once it is passed. This metaphor serves as a reminder to appreciate each moment and make the most of our time. Another metaphor for time is sand in an hourglass. Each grain represents a moment that slips away, never to return. It underscores the importance of utilizing our time wisely, for once it's gone, it can never be regained. Energy, on the other hand, is often compared to a flame. A flame can warm us, provide light, and enable growth. Yet, if not managed well, it can easily consume and destroy. This metaphor underlines the need to channel our energy constructively. Alternatively, energy can be seen as a battery. It stores power and fuels our actions, but it can also be depleted and needs to be recharged. It underlines the importance of maintaining a balance between exertion and rest. Health is frequently likened to a garden. Just as a garden requires regular care and attention to flourish, so does our health. This metaphor emphasizes the importance of consistent care and nurturing of our health. Another metaphor for health is a well-oiled machine, working smoothly and efficiently. It's a reminder that our body is a complex system that needs regular maintenance to perform optimally. Wealth finally is often compared to a tree. Like a tree, wealth can grow and bear fruit, but it needs to be nurtured and tended to. It highlights the concept that wealth is not just about accumulation, but about growth and sustenance. Wealth can also be seen as a tool. It's not an end in itself, but a means to achieve comfort, security, and opportunities. This metaphor reminds us to use wealth as a tool to create the life we desire. In the end, time, energy, health and wealth are all pieces of the puzzle that is life. The challenge lies in fitting them together to create a beautiful picture. 
As we conclude, let's reflect on the importance of these four pillars in our lives, time, energy, health, and wealth. We've explored each of these resources in depth, understanding their value and the role they play in shaping a fulfilling life. Time, the most natural resource we possess, often taken for granted. We've learned that every moment lost is lost forever. The key is to use our time intentionally for worthy pursuits and to learn from our mistakes. Next, energy, the life force that propels us forward. With energy, we become unstoppable, turning obstacles into challenges. Energy brings vitality to our bodies, clarity to our minds, and balance to our lives. We've discovered that it can be cultivated and knowing how to harness it is fundamental to living a harmonious life. Health, the vital resource that fuels our energy and time. Without health, our time and energy can diminish rapidly. It is when we are physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy that life truly becomes delicious. Lastly, wealth, the tangible resource that offers comfort. Wealth allows us to meet our basic needs and beyond, providing a level of comfort that makes life more enjoyable. It's not the ultimate goal, but rather a means to an end. Each of these pillars is interconnected, influencing and being influenced by the others. Time and energy are required to maintain health, and health in turn affects our energy levels. Wealth can buy us time and with time we can generate wealth. It's a delicate, intricate dance and understanding this interplay is crucial to achieving balance. Striking a balance among these four pillars is key to a fulfilling life. Too much emphasis on one at the expense of the others can lead to imbalance and dissatisfaction. It's about finding the right mix that works for you, aligning with your values and aspirations. Remember, life is a balance. Time, energy, health, wealth, they are all parts of the equation. Balance them well and you'll find the life you desire. Before we wrap up this enlightening journey, we want to thank you for taking the time to join us. We hope that this exploration of the four pillars of life has sparked some reflections and perhaps even motivated you to reassess how you balance time, energy, health, and wealth in your own life. If you found this video insightful and helpful in any way, we would appreciate it if you could give it a like. Your support means a lot to us, and it helps us continue to create content that can inspire and educate. We also encourage you to drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Did you have any revelations, any particular pillar that struck a chord with you? Or perhaps you have your own tips for balancing these four pillars? We value your input and look forward to engaging with you in the comments. And finally, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we release new content and you'll become part of our community dedicated to exploring life's big questions. Remember, balance is not something you find, it's something you create. So go forth and create your balance. Until next time, stay balanced and stay inspired.